Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and I've recently had quite a few requests, including one from a patron, Iggy, uh, who wanted me to actually cover uh, the different missile types that are in-game and kind of explain, you know, how they lock, what their indicators are, how you evade them, and just kind of over, kind of an overview on the missiles. So we're going to go ahead and do that, starting off with a uh, cross-section missile, uh, the first of three real types of missiles that are in the game. Uh, and the cross-section missile is one that actually has an icon that kind of looks like a Wi-Fi or like signal arches that you may see on your phone. Um, it, right now, for the cross-section, there really isn't a countermeasure that's available for it. So, um, cross-section missiles are going to be locking to your ship based on a visible line of sight. Now, that means that the bigger the cross-section created, the faster the lock should happen. So, with that in mind, the best time to use a missile like this would be when approaching someone from above or below on most ships, or when you're locking from a long distance so you have enough time for that long locking time to take place. Now, once it's actually connected, though, the lack of countermeasures makes it a really tough thing to evade. Your best bets are always going to be keeping your shields up, weapons firing if you're able to land shots, and try and make a break for it. Now, if you can get some debris in between you uh, and the missile, that's a good start. So look for things like asteroids, stations, etc. Um, anything really that's big enough to make you less visible to that pain in the ass that's following you around the map. The other option is to simply just outrun the damn thing. The missiles have a limited amount of fuel on them, so if you can't evade in its first, or if you do, or if you're able to evade in that first pass, um, and you can continue on quickly, you may be able to just outlast what that thing actually has on board. Now, this is a little bit trickier now with fuel mechanics in place, so a good target to use this against is someone who's clearly out of afterburner fuel, who has a limited ability to run. If you're in a situation where you've got the missile actually tracking to you and you don't have any afterburner fuel, your best bet is just to dodge and weave and hope it ends up running out of fuel at some point. Now the second type of missile is an electromagnetic missile, or EM missile. Uh, the icon that you're going to see when somebody's locked you is a lightning bolt. And the countermeasure that you have available to deal with an electromagnetic missile is going to be your chaff. Now your ship is generating an electromagnetic signature when your power plant is sending current through um, any of the you know, parts of your ship. You know, a big culprit when it comes to your EM signature is your ship's shields. Um, but everything from weapons to thrusters has the potential to create a large signature. That signature is what the missile's actually locking onto. So in a perfect scenario, you'd kill the power to unnecessary systems while dropping chaff and fleeing as fast as possible. And hopefully, um, the missile would break its lock. Now, considering your shields are a big contributor to your EM signature, and if you're having a missile locking onto you, you're probably under fire as well, meaning that it's a tough situation to be in because you probably don't want to drop your shields at that point. But the good news is, is that you do have countermeasures available to help you out. The chaff bursts out of your ship and kind of creates a little, uh, like a little electromagnetic storm that can try and confuse the missile. So your best bet is to drop your chaff and change your trajectory and get out of town. The third type of missile that's in game is a heat seeking missile or an infrared missile. Uh, and it's got the icon of a little flame when you're being locked. Now you do have countermeasures for this missile type as well and those are going to be your flares. Your ship produces heat through your power plant, your weapons firing, your afterburners, your thrusters, etc. Um, this is what the missile is going to be locking onto. Now, when you're being locked on with one of these, um, and if you're able, stop shooting. Um, try and identify where the missile is coming from, and try and dodge to a different location while you're dropping flares. Basically, lower your heat signature, making the flare a more desirable target for the missile. Now, it's hard to evade these without using boost or afterburner if you don't actually have uh, afterburner fuel or flares available, but those theoretically um, increase the quality of the lock. So you kind of want to be careful as far as when you're actually using the things that are going to generate more heat to give you the best opportunity to actually evade. Now, missiles tend to take a second or so before they actually start their pursuit of the target. The best practice is to take this into consideration when you're lining up your shots. Now, if you can tell someone is coming to a stop or to, you know, a reverse direction, that's a good time to let the missiles fly. Also, when closing in from behind, their only real option is to boost forward. Now, head-to-head -head and releasing them too quick um, will often cause that target to be able to afterburn away, since they already have the momentum. You know, so if you're um, releasing that missile a little bit too late, it has to then about face on a target that's already 2,000 you know, meters away from you. There's a hard. It's probably unlikely it's actually going to end up catching up. Now, when you use your countermeasures, remember that missiles can relock at times. So regardless if you're dropping flares or chaff, you're going to want to try and change your course to force that missile to choose between you or your countermeasure. And ideally, your countermeasure becomes the more ideal target for the missile to go after. Dropping countermeasures while you sit in a spot near to that action means the missile should have an easier time reacquiring you as a target. 
there is theoretically supposed to be a fourth type of missile in the game, a dumb fire missile that you, you, know, you would shoot and it would just continue in a straight line. The closest thing that we have to this in game at the moment is the Delta's rocket pods, um, but we're supposed to see more of these coming in larger sizes later. They are supposed to be sacrificing their fancy tracking abilities for an increased damage output. So that's kind of your high level overview of the different missile types, how you can evade them, some best practices in using them, um, and the just general information. So if you guys have questions about the missiles, please let me know. Otherwise, uh, stay tuned for a whole lot more, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.